What's up guys? Peter Tooth sent me a package today in the mail. Uh, uh, I'll leave a link to his channel at the end of this video. And uh, just click on it if you want to see who it is. But like I say, he sent me a package today. And I just wanted to show it to you. I don't know if he knew it or not, but my birthday is February the 18th. So I'm just going to call it an early birthday present. I appreciate it, Peter. I was in need bad of some stuff, and this really helps me out. So let's take a look at what he sent me. All right, first off, he sent me uh, a set of motors. They're Cobra 2205, 2700 kV motors. He says they're new. Uh, one of them, he said, was a little bit stiff. He's got glue in it or something. He said, I need to clean it out. And uh, I checked it, sure enough, they all spin freely except for one, and it, it still spins. It's just a little bit stiff. So I'll probably clean it out, and it'll be great. I'll use that on my Mormon, I guess, whenever my 2207s finally give out. Uh, they're they're in pretty bad shape already, but they're still running, so I'm gonna keep them until I do until I have to change them. You know I run those Venom batteries. I've got four of them. One of them the wire pulled out and it ripped the battery. I haven't been able to fix it right. I did fix it, but it, it turned loose again and shorted out, and it's just burning up. The other one is pulling about. I've checked it. It's been going bad. It, when you charge it, even with it fully charged, it don't seem like it's got no power. And I finally checked the resistance on it. Today I figured out how, and it's pulling like a 40 on the resistance, so I'm assuming that's why it's bad. But he sent me all these batteries here. Let me see if I can. Uh, he sent me two R-Line Tattoo 1550 batteries. Actually, he sent me four. There's two over here and two over here. Okay, and he sent me a GNB 1500 and three Ishin 1500s. All right, I checked the resistance on them. These two here have bad cell. So these two here I can't use, but I'll keep them because you never know I might be able to fix them someday, use the cell out of them or something. So them's the side. These two checked out fine. They're, uh, they they check like my good Venom batteries down around 10 or 11, to it down to 6 or 7 on the resistance. So them's good, I know. These check around... Uh, I think these check good too. I think they're around 11 or 12 is the worst sale in them down to about 6. And these um, are iffy. These check, they, these, both of these have two cells, uh, or now one cell each that checks around 20, I think, on the resistance. So I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe these will last a while if I baby them. But still, this is, you know, I didn't have any of this, so I was getting low on stuff, and it, it really helps, Peter. I appreciate it. And he sent me a $20 bill. I really want to save this and put it with the, uh, I've got like $28 I've saved up from that $4 a month I get from from Drone Redneck. He's my only Patreon supporter. I've got 20, 28 saved up from him. This 20 year will make 48. I'm trying to save up for some kind of a, a HD camera because this SQ-12 ain't cutting it. I really even hate to post videos when the video is all red and, and grainy and skipping all over the place. But you got to do what you got to do. What's always happened though is I had I have to buy parts. Something will break and I usually have to spend my money. Any little bit of money I have saved up, I have to spend it before I get to uh, buy me a camera. So... <laughs> So anyway, Peter, I really appreciate it. Thanks, bud. And guys, just going to throw it out there. My birthday is February the 18th. I'm in bad need of a few things, so let's, let me tell you what I need in case anybody's feeling generous. <laughs> you don't have to, but just in case. Uh, I've got about six battery straps, but they've been broken like two or three times, and I've had to hot glue them back together, and they're so stiff now that they won't even hardly bend. And I need a couple battery straps bad. <laughs> and uh, I need some kind of a cheap VTX I guess uh, I mean the one on my marmot's still good but but I've got a basher quad I'd like to get going again and it, it needs a few things uh, to get it back going like uh, I need some kind of a cheap VTX for it at least a 200 milliwatt and I need a receiver for it like a XM plus receiver or something that'll work with my Tyrannus uh, I know they're not very expensive but somebody's got a used one or something I've got antennas for them so if somebody's got one that antennas broke or something you know I could use that and fix it I guess that's it guys I mean just to get that basher quad back going uh, I believe that's all I need 
I'm completely out of ESCs and everything like that. I've done burn all my smaller ones up, all my 30 amps and stuff. They're, they've all been burned up on that marmot before I got them. That's why I got those 70 amp ESCs, and I hadn't had any trouble since. But the problem is, I, luckily I didn't rob any off of my my basher quad, so it still has the 25 or 30 amp ESCs that's on it, and they're still good. But if one blows, I won't have any of those. If I just had a VTX in them. And a uh, receiver and some battery straps. Man, I need battery straps bad. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great day. Like I say, I'm not, I'm not asking for nothing. I'm just putting it out there in case, in case anybody's interested in helping. All right, guys, have a great day.